These AI-generated Tumblr wraps are definitely trending and selling like crazy on Etsy. Take a look at this shop, for example, opened April 19th, 2023. In this short time, they've managed to sell over 18,000 of these digital Tumblr wrap designs, which has generated them over 200,000 in total sales with almost 70,000 worth of these sales in only one month, which just goes to show there's currently a tremendous demand for these digital Tumblr wrap designs. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process creating these digital downloads from scratch. I'll show you how to use ChatGPT to write prompts that you can use to generate images using Leonardo AI or Midjourney or any quality art generator really. You'll learn how to resize your images to fit straight and tapered 20 ounce tumblers. I'll also show you how to upscale your images for the best print quality. And stay tuned because later in the video, I'll be demonstrating how this powerful Chrome extension can also help you create SEO friendly title, tags, and descriptions for your listings. Okay, let's get started. My process begins by utilizing AI PRM. This is a free Chrome extension that works in conjunction with ChatGPT. Once you have this extension installed and you come back to ChatGPT, you will have this AI PRM bot available. This is a mother load of powerful pre-built ChatGPT prompts and has many use cases. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using this stable diffusion model called Make AI Images with Leonardo AI 2.0. Once you have this prompt enabled, you can input a simple description of the image you would like to produce. I'll be demonstrating this process with a Halloween themed imagery for my own personal store, but the process remains the same for any image you would like to create. So for this example, I'll simply input a brightly lit neon owl Halloween themed background, and this prompt model will generate four or five highly detailed prompts, including corresponding negative prompts that we can take directly to Leonardo AI. So let me demonstrate. I'll simply copy this prompt and head to Leonardo. I've been primarily using the featured models Dream Shaper version 7, Absolute Reality version 1.6, and the 3D animation style, with Dream Shaper version 7 performing the best. So I'll select Generate with this model, and here from the sidebar on the left, you can apply your settings. I'm going to select three images, although you can create up to four at once using this model. Then you definitely want to enable the prompt magic as well as the high contrast. And then at the bottom, you want to also enable the tiling feature. And now we can simply paste our prompt from ChatGPT. And don't forget to add the negative prompt. We can copy and paste that as well. Then just click generate and very quickly Leonardo AI will produce you some really nice images that are also seamless as I will quickly demonstrate. So if I download one of these images and take it to the seamless texture checker, you can see that these designs, even with the very busy backgrounds, meet up seamlessly, which I personally have found very difficult to achieve with anything other than a simple pattern design. So this is huge, and I have yet to achieve this with any other art generator on the market today. Alright, now that you know how to generate the prompts and images, we're ready to move on to enhancing these images. I'm going to be using pixelbin.io. Here you can upload your image, just drag and drop in the Dropbox. Then click go to settings, then select the three little dots at the upper right hand corner of the image and select transform. Then from the sidebar on the left, select upscale, then select four times and apply. This will greatly enhance the overall quality of the final printed product. Now once we have our upscaled image downloaded, we need to import it to photop.com. This is basically a free Photoshop. Here once you have your image opened up, you need to select image from the toolbar at the top, then select canvas size. For the straight 20 ounce tumbler, your size needs to be 2790 wide by 2460 high. Now simply fit your image to the canvas, being sure your left and right sides are perfectly lined up to maintain the seamless effect when printed. And here's a quick tip, under the image tab and adjustments, you can play with your contrast, vibrance, hue, color balance, etc. This can really help your images pop. Okay, now let me demonstrate how to resize your image to fit a tapered 20 ounce tumbler while also maintaining the seamless effect. For this step, you are going to need to visit Etsy and purchase a digital download template. I purchased this set of tumbler wrap templates here for 99 cents, so very inexpensive. And your purchase will be immediately available to download and use. Now once you have your template, you need to drag it into Photopea. Then select File from the toolbar at the top, open your files, then drag and drop the image that has already been resized to fit the 20 ounce straight tumbler. Now your image should be on top of your tapered template, so we need to change the opacity from the tool menu on the right down to about 70% so we can see through the image. Then from the toolbar on the top, we need to Edit, then select Transform and Warp. This will allow you to drag the little handles warping your image to fit the tapered template without cutting off the image destroying the seamless effect. Now once you have your image tapered, you need to right click the background layer and delete it. And don't forget to turn the opacity back up to 100%. And that's it, you can now select file and export as a PNG. 
Okay, now that you know how to upscale and resize your images, we're now ready to get these listed on Etsy. I'm creating my listings to include four images, both straight and tapered for the 20 ounce tumblers, and to avoid any size limitations, importing these images directly into Etsy, I first create a drive folder and collect my images there, then I link this folder to a downloadable PDF from Canva. For a full breakdown on this process, check out my 3D Tumblr Wraps video here. And quickly, if you're finding value in the video, the best way to say thank you is to give me a thumbs up and let me know what you liked most about the video in the comments below. Okay, so as promised, let me demonstrate using this powerful GPT extension for creating SEO-friendly title tags and descriptions for your listings. My process for this begins with finding a similar listing to what I'm trying to create and copying the title. Now back in ChatGPT, you want to find the Etsy listing prompt called SEO Etsy Listing by Richard C. Bat. Using this model, we want to paste the title that we copied. Then you need to add any details specific to your listing. In this case, there's four images in the bundle. They are seamless and they include tapered and straight. So I'll add that to the prompt before I generate response. This prompt model will generate excellent SEO friendly titles that are keyword rich. You'll also get a list of long tail keywords that you will see ChatGPT included in this keyword rich description given. Now the tag section on Etsy only accepts 20 character long tags. So here I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me 15 comma separated keywords that are 20 characters or less each. And there you go, we are now ready to copy these and go create our listing in Etsy. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the link in my description to receive your first 40 listings free. Okay, let's get this listed for sale on Etsy. First, you're going to be asked to fill out the basic information. Here, you're going to select digital product. Then who made it? I did. And this is a finished product that was created recently, 2020 to 2023. Click continue and confirm you want to switch to a digital product. Now we can paste in our title, description, and tags being sure to make any final edits here. Then you're ready to upload your mockups. I created my mockups using Canva and a $4 bundle of mockups from Etsy. And once you're happy with your primary thumbnail and images, you want to click add file here under digital files and import your downloadable PDF from Canva. Now, if everything looks good, you can set your price. I'm setting mine for $3.99. Then the quantity is unlimited at $9.99. And finally, we need to add our category. This is a digital download, so I'll type in digital and select digital prints and we're done here. And that's basically it. You can set to renew your listing automatically or manually. Then you're ready to publish your digital download for sale on Etsy. Please smash that like button for me and drop a comment if you have any questions or just enjoyed the video. And that will also give the algorithm a hint. Thanks, everybody. Be blessed.